Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a Bee's Knees cocktail. Now, this is a classic 1920s cocktail that's credited to Frank Meyer. Now, he was an Austrian-born bartender who was working in France at the time at a place called the Hotel des Paris. Now, at this time, there was another drink going around called a gin sour, and that one leaned heavily on sugar. However, a Bee's Knees leans more heavily on honey and a honey syrup. And part of the reason for that, it, that it suggested anyways, is that the honey was used to help uh, smooth out the rough edges of not so good gin. However, now we have the uh, ability to use different types of gins to give us different types of flavors. So what I'm sticking with is a classic London dry gin, and this means it'll be a little bit more juniper forward. Now this is also a shaken cocktail. So grab yourself your shaking glass, so you're ready, and then grab yourself a lemon. Because what we'll do after you've rolled it a little bit is we'll cut this in half, measure out three quarters of an ounce and pour that into the glass. Continuing on to your second ingredient, we're going to use a honey syrup. And what we're going to use is a one-to-one -one honey syrup, meaning it's one part water, one part honey. You heat it up just enough to incorporate. You don't overheat it because you don't want to caramelize it. And we'll use the same amount of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. And after that, our third ingredient is, as I said, gin. Now, like I said, I'm using a dry gin, so I'm using beef feeder, and this will give us a little bit more of that juniper flavor. But for this, we're going to use a total of two ounces, which works out to 60 milliliters. Our next step in this process is to shake this with some ice. So what you want to do is grab yourself your tin and then just fill it maybe three quarters of the way to the top with ice. That way you get enough to chill and dilute it properly. So just pour this in, make sure it's seated well and shake it with a smile. Okay, so what you want to do is pop that off with the strength of a thousand lemons and put that off to the side. Now what we're going to do, because this is a nice 1920s style cocktail, we're going to use a slightly fancy classic coupe. And what we'll do is we will just fine strain this to keep out any chunks of ice or lemon pulp. Oh yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Now grab yourself a little bit of a lemon peel, put it on top just like so as a garnish, and here you have a classic bee's knees. Beautiful to look at. You get slight hints of lemon and honey. Oh yeah, really good. The gin, you can't even tell it's there except for a little bit of the juniper. You can taste the honey in the background. In fact, the lemon is a little further forward, but it's beautifully balanced. If you like classic style cocktails, take a look right after the recipe card.